If you are always very busy and don't want to waste your time with complicated setups, but if you still want to monitor your training accurately, the solution might be to use your watch to drive your bike trainer. There are many reasons why using your watch for indoor training might be interesting. The first one is that it is always with you. The second one is that you don't need to fix the phone or any other device on your bike and you don't need to wear an external heart rate monitor because you can use the built-in sensor of your watch. And last but not least, if your watch has a chrome or a rotating bezel, you can use it to change the trainer resistance. What you need is a Wear Rest smartwatch. There are many different models and some are more accurate than others for heart rate monitoring. Mia, which one would you choose? The Pixel Watch is a good choice because of its heart rate monitor accuracy. You can have a look at a video about heart rate sensors and smartwatches. In addition, the Pixel Watch has a crown, so you will be able to change the resistance easily. On the Samsung side, the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic has a compatible rotating bezel. The rotating bezel was such a nice feature, but they dropped it on the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro which I really don't understand, as many of you, I'm sure. And of course, you need a bike trainer as well. Bluetooth smart trainers often broadcast power, but not all of them can be driven. Only recent devices, such as the Kicker Core, Kicker Power, Elite Direto, Suito. Yes, it is a bit more geeky, but check if your trainer implement the FTMS profile, which means fitness machine service. The watch doesn't drive the bike trainer natively, you need to get the app called hr 2 vp Watch by Computer, which we developed at VIPR. In order to download the app on your watch, you can either search for hr 2 vp in the Play Store or use the link in the description. Once installed, if you have a Samsung watch, enable background execution for the watch app in Galaxy Wearable on your phone. Then, on all watches, open the app, grant all permissions and click on the pairing power meter button in the settings. Select your bike trainer in the list. Check that the address has been saved correctly. If it is not the case, start the pairing process again. Yes, sometimes it fails on first trial. If you want to, you have the option to automatically upload to Strava. In the settings, click on the Strava button and follow the instructions. When everything is set up, you can start your training. But there is a big question. What about the ergometer mode? Ergometer means the resistance will vary automatically to match with the target power on the top right part of the screen. Should it be enabled? It depends on what you like and on how you want to train. But if I may give you my own opinion, I prefer using the ergometer mode when possible, which means almost always except for anaerobic and sprint trainings. You need less attention and I can watch my favorite movies on the TV at the same time. I am a big fan of Christopher Nolan and sometimes I need some, co some concentration to understand what's happening. And what about you? Let me know in the comments how you spend your time on the bike trainer. I won't go into all the details, but there are small things that are often very helpful. If you have trouble, check that background execution is activated for the watch app because sometimes it gets removed by the watch operating system on its own. Switch off, then switch on Bluetooth. Reboot all your devices. Pair again. Check that your trainer or external heart rate monitor is not already paired to another, to another device or app. And if you need more help, leave a comment below and I will answer it as soon as I can. So, using your watch to drive the bike trainer allows a very clean setup and is very flexible, especially if you have a crown. In addition, you can use the app HR2BP to track your outdoor rides with GPS and get power based on heart rate. But this is something we'll see in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye!